times I got up and looked out the window and you can hear the wind howling and he was <laughs> upset and he couldn't sleep and he was going crazy and now I guess he's resting a little oh, bit more easily. So. Definitely, world especially record. having a world record here. And consider what's gonna, what this is going to mean for the America's Marathon 1985. People are going to say they can run that fast on this course, I'm coming. And they're giving away this kind of money, I'm coming. <laughs> now this is Rosa Moda's sixth marathon. She is a student and she's actually graduated from uh, school. She went, she's just running now, professionally running. Uh, she hasn't thought about doing any work now, as a lot of our top runners are, are doing right now. But uh, she says a few more years, she wants to continue running, and then she does want to uh, settle down and get a job, and uh, not running, but she another won't, job. She this won't is need a job, job for these she people. Won't need a job After she gets this purse money right now. No, she's got about three minutes left to go in her race. And once again, she's picking it up. She knows the stretch of the course because it's this point, last year's race, that Anna Dane had fallen. At this point last year, in the last mile, going into the last mile of this race last year, Rosamoto was in fourth place. She had to pass not, not only Dorta Rasmussen, who's in the race again today, and Jackie Garo, who were running in front of her, in second and third, but then go on and get the stricken and fallen Anna Audain. So Rosamoto is very comfortable with this sort of, this area of the course because it's where she won the race last year. Totally different race this year. All by, she was in control. Front. She was in control of the she race very early on. Hard, didn't she? Uh, Ingrid Christensen was there for, for a, a, while. a good part of the race, well, the first part. They were together for a while. Boy, we can, we can hear these crowds now. We can really hear these crowds going. And I've said it before, Tony, you've heard me saying it. Where else but in a marathon can you get a standing ovation for three hours, four hours straight? Even Frank Sinatra can't get that. <laughs> Especially when you're running, see, when you do your daily training, which is your preparation for these sort of things, it's a lonely sort of experience unless you're running with friends, but those of us who live in big running meccas, we have a lot of people we can go run with. Most people have to do their training on their own, and that's lonely. So it's very innervating to get these people to be out cheering for you on race day. Okay, as Rosa is get, Rose is getting near the finish line, let's go out there now to Jeannie and Don for a report. We don't quite have her inside. If she was a little taller than 5'2", we might, but 100 pounds of uh, romp and stomp and dynamite coming down here. The crowd is beginning to get into it. She really is pouring it on at this point. You can uh, see the crowd down at the uh, far end of the field is uh, starting to get excited, and that's sort of signaling to us that she's heading our way. Rosa, can you see her? Uh, we can see her. We can see her, and, and we're hoping she's going to break her PR of 226.57. It looks like she will, doesn't it? Because the course record is Yes, it does. She's here coming into the uh, stretch, I believe. Is she not, Jeannie? Yep. Yes, yeah, there we she is. We can see her now. Of course, the course record she is blowing uh, right now, which was 231.12. She's got to pick it up a little bit to make it, I would think. Yeah, she's got to lift nice. those knees. We Just talked like... earlier about wind out here. There is none now at all. She's running free and easy, and the crowd is really moving her along. Tremendous kick here at the end, and just like last year, the and crowd really comes. is getting, getting more excited about uh, the women's finish than the men's. Tremendous kick at the end. And she is, she That's is, her. she, she looks is good. She looks wonderful. She is breaking her court, her course record. She's breaking her PR. 226. 226.02. 226.02 unofficially for Rosa Moda. And, and she looks great. She's smiling. smiling. She's what? jogging down. This one, she took it out from the front. It wasn't like last year where she then had to uh, pass Anna Dane after Anna Dane had faulted. This one was hers. That's her coach, Jose Pedrosa, who's giving her a little kiss in the beard. And a, obviously, he must have done a good job. What a look of determination on her face as she uh, crossed the finish line. The crowd really, really helped her across.